Here is Danny and today, Jakub Aimo has released the patch notes for the 12th February patch. And like always, I will take out the most interesting points and link the full PDF in the description. Let's start. Damage will now be properly based over time, which should help with a better and more consistent time to kill and time to die. They also added more damage updates that can be in a single data packet. The bug that made it look like you were on half health and you couldn't regenerate is fixed. You were always on 100% health by the way. Defaulting and the UI got a fix too. The mobile anti-air got a fix that stops causing double damage. Tank shells will fly faster through the sky, however they lose their speed also quicker, giving more realistic shell trajectories. Heavy tanks got an armor buff. They also increased the damage of armor piercing shells. Same for all tank shells against infantry. The Piat got a little splash damage nerf versus infantry. Sniper decoys can't be stacked anymore, making it so you can't climb on top of places you shouldn't be. See it as the Battlefield 3 MAV glitch. Spawn beacon placement should work better now, however you can't place it underwater anymore. Ammo and health crates should not fall through the ground anymore, which is great news. But in my opinion, they do need their healing auras back from the good old days in Battlefield. Slug shells on shotguns got a 5 meter range increase for their 2 hit kill range. They have also nerfed the max damage from the Turner and the Mass 44 from 45 damage to 40. The KE7 got even more recoil nerfs. The ZK3A3 got a nerf to its recoil when using the faster rate of fire. And for the bayonet, DICE removed a damage reduction that players had when using the bayonet, but increased the speed a little bit more. It's almost like they didn't learn from Battlefield 1. Frontlines got multiple fortifications back on maps like Twisted Steel. The library on Devastation has now buildable ladders to the third floor. DICE also added an autofocus in the spectator mode, which can be found in the depth of field settings. DLSS got added to PC players with RTX cards, which sadly isn't me. And as last for the console, Battlefield 5 should wake up better from the sleep mode of the console. There is a little bit more fixes and I will link them in the description, but that's all I got for now. This was Danny and I see you on the battlefield.